Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 26 Tango Micro 62. Check this out, we've got a load of vintage CB radios to look at in today's video because November the 2nd is 41 years, blimey, 41 years of legal CB radio in the UK and I plan to take part in an event using one of these radios. I'm probably going to use the Uniace there. I want to see what I can do on 4 watts using a 12 meter Spirit of Air pole and also using a T2LT antenna. I'm going to run any power, I just want to see how far I can get on 4 watts. I plan to take part in the event and hopefully capture some footage, see how far we get on the old uh, 4 watts there. Now check it out, we've got ourselves a Harvard 420M. Now I've got given this one from Motor Mower. So it's good to do a nice clean up, it's a bit rusty on the top there. See that there? But the good thing about this, it's fully working. We've got ourselves an analog meter there, check that out. Proper meter, none of this blooming uh, bar graph rubbish on the modern radios. Same with this one, I think I got that one from Boot Sale. Your CB, your PA, your volume squelch. Nice clicky dial there, I like that one. And you've got the green LED meter there, LCD meter. When you key up, I think it goes red, I think. I can't remember, I haven't used this one in a while. And this is the Midland 2001 Precision Series. Now here we have a modern radio, but it's also got the analog meter. This is a Cobra 29 Classic, and this one's got the UKU, so I think this is a 2794 or 2797. It's got the older so it's there. I've got this in 2004 from Doug Knights. I remember the key about me wire up an echo chamber for this and getting the same result as Doug Knights and then you just eliminate the wire. The echo chamber worked very, very well. That winds a few people up. Might get an echo chamber running as well for the um, the event. Got a dimmer, swell, uh, swell calibration, UKU switch. I remember getting up early in the morning listening on the EU, so I knew they were not going to be about. Find that it's just empty at the moment until the band comes active. But this one's only got FM, there's no AM. And if you hear the state side on there, you can use the sound tracker button there. And that makes it sound, makes it, you can sort of hear what's going on on the AM. Now this one needs no introduction, this radio. This is a NATO 2000, again, 2781. This is the multi-mode, this was, would have been a duck's guts back in the day. I think it's kicking about three and a half watts. Um, cheers, Goop, you think you repaired this one as well. You've got your FM ABCD. I had no sound out of this one, so Q bought a 8 ohm speaker, put it in there and it worked. I had no power, but you got up to three and a half, four watts, so good on your cube. You've got your RF gain there. You've got your RF gain, which is DX, mid and local. a &L on and off. And this one's got sideband. As you can see there, you've got your final course. There, you've got your different bands there, A, B, C, D, E, and so on, FM. So I think you just switch it on to FM. And there you go, and you can use it on 2781 FM. I think when these, back in the day, could buy these, and when you had different bands coming in, you couldn't transmit on it. But you could easily do a mod in there to make it work again. And this is all your modes there. I think that's sideband, upper sideband, low sideband. And carrier wave. You've got your tone high, low. You've got your power, low, mid, um, and high power there. CV, PA, and your noise blanker. So I'll plan to use, like I say, this one here. Now this one here I got from the local car boot. And this is a Uniace 300. And it's a 2781 rig. Basically just a home bait, uh, one of these mobile rigs in a home base case there it runs off 240 volt mains and this one's got your your channel changer there nice clicky channel changer now when i bought this from the boot sale half the led display segment was uh missing the bulb didn't work in there it didn't transmit properly or receive so i'll give it the key you repair the trace on the board replace the bulb in there replace the led meter in the um the lcd display in there from another old radio head that didn't really work and it's all good to go now just need some screws in the side so you can just take the top of this one, just screws to the side. Get your microphone socket there, your phone socket there for your earphones. But you've got a large speaker there, which is good. Volume squelch, mic gain, RF gain, tone high low. The PA button's missing on there. That's no biggie, we didn't really use the PA button there. Don't know anyone actually used it. Uh, PA button there. We've also got the power, 0.4 and 4 watts. And that's the one I, like I said, plan to use with my new Spirit of Air 12 meter pole and the T2LT antenna. Now, I did have that in the bike stand uh, Saturday afternoon, just to give it a test. And I was receiving stateside, no problems. But it's a bit unstable in the bike stand, so I need to find a bit of a better solution there so I can use it at home and uh, without having to worry about it falling over because I don't want to leave it up overnight and find out it's crashed down in the garden, either broken the pole or caused some damage to the grass and flowers and that sort of stuff. But if I go out and about mobile, look at this thing here. We got ourselves a Harvard WT44, or Harvard WT44, and this is a vintage handheld. Stupid great blooming long air oil, it's not properly matched, um, no doubt. Got your channel switch there, which changes the channel. Now, there's no 
LED display like you'd get on something like this or this or this and so on it's just uh, the numbers with a light behind it and it comes up in red you've got your volume and your squelch large speaker there there's your microphone there where you're talking to on the side put your PTT switch there nothing on this side on the bottom here we've got ourselves power high low DC charge external power and external antenna and the bottom of this has got a crack in it because these radi these plastics are very fragile I mean it's 40 odd years old 41 years old 40 years old I don't expect it to last forever but yeah these are all fully working rigs try and get a modern day gadget like an old um, like an LCD TV that's going to last 40 odd years it'll either pack up at least these are all blooming working but yeah that'd be good to try this one on the old 305 net and I've got the old microphones for these in the box and I think that's a two pin power lead that's the Midland special power lead that's the same I think that might be a two pin that's just a Cobra power lead that actually runs off the mains so you can run off a power lead there's actually a switch at the back there but I like to run off the mains if about that if the mains have a power supply that goes inside this you know what you can do with that one switch the switch and run off the mains you can also use this mobile because you can run off the 12 volt battery but yeah I do like that though and it's working very well with these radios so hopefully when the net comes on I can go out and um, sit up here on the shack and do some uh, Catch some footage with this with the Spirit of Air Tommy to pole on a T2 LT antenna. That's worked very well on a 5 metre fishing pole on a 305 net in the mornings using the old President George and the wireless microphone. That's a winner winner that microphone. I highly recommend that one to people. It just worked. All your reports are good and everything's just working. Anyhow, if you like to if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't know the other button seems to work too, but that was a quick look at some old vintage CB radios. Not a lot at the back of these, they've all got the earphone sockets and they've all got the PL259 or the SO239 connections there for the antennas. So was a look at some vintage radios. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQ. No, it's not. 26 Tango Mike 062. I'm a CB now. Must forget where I've come from. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Yes, I'm a ham and yes, I use CB and I still use CB. I'm not getting rid of CB radio because that's where I've come from. Right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. 7-3 for now.